Hello everyone, I'm Scratch. Welcome to the channel. This is going to be another Raid Shadow Legends video. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. If in the next few days you're gonna catch me off guard and you won't be seeing any videos whatsoever from me, know that I'm well, but my baby is due in the next couple of days. He might come later today, tomorrow or the day after. So super excited and most probably I'll be having a few days off from uh, creating content. How I mentioned in today's video, we're going to talk about the number one silver hack in Raid Shadow Legends. And honestly, it's not a secret whatsoever. It's just mainly how you're managing your artifacts and in what you're investing the silver. So I'm going to walk you through everything. This is actually a gear cleanse on this account. So I'm going to walk you through every little step that you guys need to know in order to preserve your silver and of course, earn more silver in the process. Before we move over to talk about all that, I just want to let you guys know if you enjoy the music you hear in the video i partnered up with soundstripe they have an amazing music library so if you're a content creator a music enthusiast you're looking for a new playlist to jam on while you're chillaxing at home in your own space or while you're at the gym going for a run or especially if you're a content creator and wanna keep your mind at ease and avoid copyright strikes definitely head over and check them out. The link will be in the description down below or in the pinned comment. Plus, I can save you 15% on checkout by using code SCRATCH. Now, how I mentioned the number one silver hack in Raid. So we, we're going to do a gear cleanse on this account. And I want to share with you guys the most common mistakes that people do and waste silver instead of gaining the silver. And that's leveling up the wrong accessories, uh, hoarding the wrong accessories. Now we have a lot of sets in the game at the moment. There are just so many sets and a lot of them are not very powerful. A lot of them are not useful whatsoever. Now it doesn't mean that you got to clear the entire inventory from each one of these sets that are not meta, but you can keep only the God tier pieces, keep six star epics and legendaries. Now we have mythical five star rare gear, became even weaker than it was before because of the uh, mythical gear that just got uh, added to the game, you know? So a lot of things are, are constantly uh, changing. Now, if we're going to have a quick look at this account, we're going to go to the filter. The main thing that I'm usually doing is check out the five-star rare gear. You know, if we have a lot, that means that, yeah, right here is going to be a pretty straightforward, easy cleanse. So much rare gear at five-star is definitely going to hold you back you know if you are still building your faction wars teams and stuff you're gonna want to use some of the these pieces five star rare is nothing is nothing wrong with it but the main thing that i would suggest you to do as well if you're cleansing select all and it doesn't mean to sell every single one of them so there are a few sets like speed set i'm actually gonna deselect all these and then we're gonna check them out we're gonna see what we're keeping out of it what we're selling and of course, we're going to check other sets. Critical rate, it can be helpful on a lot of early accounts. And I know a lot of you guys are still progressing through the game and you don't have the most OP gear, which is fine. It doesn't mean that you cannot use some of these. So we're going to deselect some of the more powerful sets that I know it could benefit the, the most of you guys out there. We're getting the Kree damage done as well. Now, the accuracy set is a fairly decent set as well. We're going to check this as well in case if we have any, any pieces that matter. Resistance, yeah, we can check that too. It's not going to be necessarily the best thing. We have Lifesteal. Probably some of you guys will be like, Scratch, why didn't you just select what you wanted to sell? And that's mainly because we're not going to deselect pretty much the rest of the things. Fury. I don't care about it at five star rare hell no days the same cursed the same frost the same frenzy the same regeneration on the other hand is something that is more important now if we are talking about immunity five star rare gear is not good anymore we have stone skin which is kind of like an immunity set on steroids right we don't really use immunity set at all anymore so again you want to keep strong pieces from the set but five star rare gear won't be the strong piece shield i'm not gonna bother with the top pieces but i will have a look at the bottom ones now one thing that you do need to keep in mind getting the top pieces like weapon helmet shield is much easier than getting the right bottom pieces you know when you are talking about shield gear i'm gonna give you a quick tip here it's no point to keep defense gloves defense chest piece you want to have hp because the main 
the main purpose of the set is to gain a shield, right? To keep your team alive longer. And you want to have as much HP as possible. If you're going to build a shield champion with the defense substats and stuff, it's, it's pointless. You're not going to gain the benefit of the, of the shield set, you know? So it's literally no point in doing it. Relentless is a very premium set, so we're going to check that. Savage, of course, we want to make sure we're checking every single piece, not to sell the, the decent pieces. And the reason why I want to do this video is because I know every single one of you guys that are still progressing through the game, learning the game, uh, will be in this situation, you know. And it's very overwhelming to to know all the all the sets what do we have strong in the game should i keep everything you know and what should i sell and this is going to be a problem for a lot of you guys because if you're not selling the bad pieces and you start investing in them you're going to waste a lot of silver by leveling them up toxic set is actually fairly fairly decent and the reason why i'm keeping it is because you might want to build your clan boss team and you're just missing a bit of damage to get you to two key or one key ultra nightmare or nightmare and a toxic set might come in uh, in hand that help you out to to reach the damage that you need so we're gonna deselect that and we're gonna go over over after retaliation if we don't have damage on this set it's gonna be pretty pretty pointless yes you can find the case and be like well a we tier on retaliation can be powerful but that is so niche that yeah keep six star epic legendary pieces keep a set for support champions for tanky champions from this but mainly what you want to get from retaliation and avenging is damage. You know, that's the main thing that it matters on the sets. Stalwart is a pretty decent set. But now we have the Defiant set as well, which is so much better than having a, a Stalwart. So I won't even bother with the top pieces from here. I will check the gloves, the, the chest pieces and the boots in case if we have a nice defense glove or chest or maybe even a, a HP one. Reflex is still a powerful set and... If you really need a piece to make your set work, a rare piece will work just fine. Curing, goodbye. Cruel, yes, we're going to keep that. Immortal, we're not going to bother with the top pieces. We're going to check those two chest pieces. And the rest of Divine, Divine Critical, the Divine Speed, we're going to keep it. It's no point to, to bother with them because they're just not really going to bring you a lot of value. Like this pair of boots, for example, it's pretty, nah, we don't, we don't want it, you know. If we're gonna check the Swift Parry, yeah, we can keep it because it's more of a premium set. Resilience, again, just the bottom pieces from 5-star rare. The rest don't matter. Perception is a pretty strong set, so we want to make sure we are covered with this set to don't have any issue. Fatal is a decent set, but if we don't have the right substats, it becomes pretty pointless. Now, the newer sets. You want to make sure you are keeping some of the pieces to don't be short on when you're building champions instinct is a damage set if you don't have damage substats on it it's gonna be an insta sell but we're gonna have to check every single piece just to make sure that we don't sell something good you know like if it has the right substats bolster is a new set we're gonna have to check that too and of course defiant so yeah probably i unticked half of the ones that i just selected but i just wanted to walk you through the through the entire process actually we this selected more than half but the rest bank 7 million silver easy number one hack is selling the rubbish gear that you have on your account now we have 350 pieces left a lot of these sets are very versatile you can use them on all sorts of different champions speed set you can use it on dps you can use it on support you can use it on fast champions you know how it goes but not every single one of these pieces will be great nine speed for some people might be good for some people no you know, like, it really depends where your account is. If you're already covered and you have much better gear than that, you're going to end up in selling that. This is actually a pretty good substat. We're going to keep that attack crit rate. This is definitely not a great uh, not a great helmet. I'm not a fan of that. Speed on this one, we're going to be able to roll it later on and see if it's worth it to, to be saved or no. And slowly we are going. We are looking on the red gear to have at least two good substats to, to make it make it worth you know if no is no point in keeping it free trade defense that's a decent one and what else we have here hp accuracy not a fan speed hp we're gonna keep that crit damage gloves with crit rate uh, crit rate substat very important how i mentioned the bottom pieces are so much harder to get and i know from my own experience on my own account 
Three damage gloves, attack chest pieces, etc. are the thing that is the hardest to, to get, you know. So we're going to make sure we are keeping the ones with right substats. We have speed on there and we're going to keep it. HP boots, they don't look that great. We're going to sell that. Now, when we are talking about damage sets, critical rate, crit damage, savage, instinct, lethal, uh, attack, cruel. If those sets do not have the damage substats on them, are pointless it's no point to keep them no point to level them up and this account is actually doing pretty well because he didn't level up a lot of pieces that we're gonna sell now at least not from the rare ones you know this you're never gonna use this piece ever so it's definitely an insta sell crit rate attack we're gonna keep that crit rate attack we're gonna keep that crit rate flat attack we're not gonna keep that crit rate hp that can work on a magnar or a different champion if we're struggling with the crit rate speed crit damage Yes and no, it, it, it does have potential. If we're going to have a look at the shields, speed defense is a no-no. What On who are you going to use this piece, you know? Like, I see a lot of times these pieces are leveled up on other accounts. Do not waste your silver on that. Number one hack, guys. Number one hack is do not make the wrong decision. Three damage, attack, subs, that we're going to keep that. This one had uh, attack as well, so we're going to keep it. And we have attack boots. No speed, no crit rate, no crit damage. We're going to sell them. Again, crit damage. Speed crit rate is a great piece. HP accuracy, we're never going to use that. You know, like, we really need to bring in the damage substats on these pieces to make them work. Like, example, this beautiful weapon. Crit rate and crit damage. Crit rate HP. Again, this is not a bad piece whatsoever. This is the main thing that you guys need to, to keep in mind when you are getting rid of uh, your gear what sort of gear to to level up you know is so important because you're wasting so much silver if you're not doing it now on the accuracy i want to get speed accuracy on these pieces i don't really care so much about bringing out the damage but if i find a piece like this we're gonna we're gonna keep it we're not gonna sell them because they might be helpful in faction wars they might be helpful on champions that don't require to have necessarily the craziest stats all around you know pre damage gloves are so rare we're gonna keep this one you can ascend it maybe later on and maybe you're gonna get a crit rate as a substat or you're gonna get uh, a crit rate at level 12 definitely worth keeping in mind resistance if it doesn't have resistance it's pointless to keep it the reason why you would use resistance is to have high resistance you're not gonna use a resistance set on a damage dealer because building high resistance damage dealers is pointless you know it's just you're not going to be able to cover enough resistance to make it count so you will just end up in crippling your champion instead of giving him the full potential of doing damage lifesteal we want to have again damage substats if we're not dealing damage to heal the set is pointless as well so we need to have the damage substats in order to make the most out of the out of the set you know to use it either in clan boss yeah for clan boss you can argue it a bit and be like well a war, mo a war master proc can help me but if the war master doesn't proc what's gonna happen is that your team will fail because that champion is gonna die it's not gonna get to heal enough back you know so that's another thing to keep in mind and yes you can use this set on very niche builds for champions but i feel like they became so irrelevant like for example use a solo dragon 20 champion you know like it's just so irrelevant you want to farm stage 25 or hard mode and going for this sort of things is going to be pretty pointless regeneration super powerful you want to have speed tankiness if you don't have speed it's not necessarily a bad thing you don't really want to prioritize necessarily attack attack substats on a on the on the gear you know and we're going to check pretty much what we have here. We have speed. A lot of times you're going to need to build the champions pretty fast on a, on this set as well. Crit damage gloves from it. We don't really care so much. Again, very niche builds that could potentially be decent, but not something too crazy. Shield, I want to see HP. HP main, we're going to keep it. Attack, get out of here. Attack, get out of here. So the only thing... The only niche build on the shield set is when you're building either a Renegade, you're building a ghost bone and you're building them for your dungeon teams and you want to have that extra buff for your seer to melt that's when you're building a damage champion on shield and then you don't need to have high hp on it you can just go with attack chest piece crit damage gloves you just need to have that little buff at the top of the champions it doesn't matter how big is the shield just so seer deals more damage but that is the only time when you're gonna build the shield champion on 
other stats than HP, you know? Keep that in mind as well. Attack boots, no, no, no. This is not a great helmet. Defense, defense glove, we're gonna keep it because it's so hard to get them. This one, at least it had slightly better uh, substance than the, the one that we're selling. HP chest, we're gonna keep it. Savage, if we don't have damage substats, is a waste. Like, no point to ever level up a thing like this, you know, or or even consider it. Crit rate. Now, Savage again is pretty hard to get. I know a lot of you guys, when are progressing, you're not really gonna have a lot of pieces from Savage. So, this one, like here, I would probably level it up to 4 to 8. If it goes on crit rate, I would keep it. Maybe at 12, it's gonna give you an attack, a crit damage, a speed, and you could make it work on a core heart, on an army girl. So, it's worth keeping a piece like that. This is a decent weapon, so we're gonna keep that one. Speed crit damage, only if it gives me crit rate at uh, level 12. The main issue that a lot of you guys will encounter is to build your champion with crit damage gloves to really bring their damage out and get a full crit rate. So if you don't have crit rate substat on the pieces, at least to hit it once or twice on the on the substat when you're rolling it, you're not going to achieve that. So this piece right here is a bit of a bait, you know, which we're not going to keep. Speed crit rate, we want to keep that for sure. Crit rate flare attack, again, I mentioned is savage, is a more premium set, it's, it's harder to get good pieces. So we want to make sure we're not getting rid of pieces that we could potentially end up in using on some of the champions, especially faction war champions and stuff, you know. I only want to see crit damage gloves on the savage. Now, probably at the very beginning is going to be harder. So crit rate glove is, is fine. Attack, HP, defense, none of the damage substats that matter. And that will just stop us from building the champion to the right uh, and achieving the right stats on the build, you know. Again, that's a sell. Stun, either we have speed, accuracy, either we have crit rate, uh, speed, stuff like this. We, we really got to get the most out of it if we want to if we want to use the champions on, on a stun set too, you know. Accuracy, resistance, HP, accuracy, we're going to keep that. We're getting a bit of tankiness, same with that. HP. Bottom pieces, again, I'm always more uh, careful with the pieces that we're selling from the bottom, guys. Very, very important, you know. Defense, these boots, again, are useless. And this is a waste of silver right here. Keep that in mind. Do not waste your silver like this. Toxic. Now, right here, yes, you can every now and then use a niche build on a champion that's not dealing damage. And you want it to have the toxic set on but again it's very niche the main thing i would prioritize on toxic is keep a set that's versatile it's not meant for damage but then focus on damage uh subs that's for toxic set as well how i mentioned you're gonna end up in either using it in clan boss or something like that where you want to up your damage so if you don't build a champion to deal damage you're not gonna manage to up your damage unfortunately you know just bringing 2.5 million extra damage or so from landing a few poisons on uh, on the clan boss is just not not gonna cut it you know crit rate accuracy yeah we're gonna keep that because maybe the champion will land some other debuffs so we want to make sure we have that available what else we have in here crit damage crit rate we're gonna keep that attack crit rate we're gonna keep that we don't care about accuracy chest pieces attack boots five stars only no speed on them and it's kind of like, yeah, maybe we don't keep them, but we're going to keep the speed ones instead. Stalwart, HP, crit rate, defense, nice. No attack, a substat on the crit damage. We don't really care about that so much. And what else we have? Defense, that's a nice chest piece. Attack boots with crit rate and defense, right? So this is worth keeping. Maybe you're going to use them in clan boss. Reflex, this is a very versatile set as well, either for damage, either for support champions resistance champions for dungeons to solo content or do other sort of things and definitely worth keeping quite a few pieces cruel damage set if we don't have the right things we're not gonna keep it you know again it's pretty hard to get good pieces from the cruel so i'm gonna keep the gloves i'm gonna keep the weapon roll them to 12 see what's gonna happen there chest piece hp accuracy resistance we're gonna keep that we want to have speed here it's very similar with the regular speed set you want to have the, the right substats to kind of like make it count. Swift can be used for damage, can be used for some sort of support champions, or just a Sifi, an Arbiter, a Gorgorab, lots of champions like this, you know, for uh, for Arena or for PvE is not that useful as a, as a set, you know. 
HP, flat HP, resistance chest piece is a 5 star. I feel like getting 5 star resistance and accuracy chest pieces is pretty, pretty pointless, honestly. And what do we have here on deflection? Only one piece. We're going to keep that one. Resilience, HP or defense. That's what we want to see with nice substats because it's a rare piece. Yeah, we can keep the crit damage. I'm using, for example, Resilience as a secondary set for my Husk or stuff like that, you know, for Hydra. So you can you can find some use for, uh, for the set as well. You see, we kept so many pieces and we already sell over half of the ones that we kept because I wanted to have a closer eye at it and explain you guys the entire process, you know. Perception, speed, accuracy. If you don't have the speed on it, it's not really going to be great. If you don't have the accuracy, it's not really going to be great for most of the things that you're planning to do. This is a nice shield. We're going to keep it. Speed crit rate. Yeah, not a bad idea. We can make it work either on core hearts or DPS champions. HP crit rate. Yes and no. I wouldn't really bother with that piece. I don't know how many other chess pieces he has with accuracy. So we're going to keep down for the moment. These boots are pretty bad. We're going to keep this weapon speed crit rate. Is a, is a decent set for uh, DPS champions. Protection. You're not really going to bother so much with DPS pieces from here, especially for attack champions, because it really doesn't benefit them. But for a defense-based nuka, you can potentially use a two-piece or you can use a piece and a broken set. So you can argue that, yeah, you could make it work, you know? We know the stone skin is pretty important, so we're going to keep that piece. Instinct again, damage set. If it doesn't have damage substats, it's pointless. You're not going to end up in using it. Very similar with Savage, you know. You want to have crit rate, crit damage, speed, attack, and kind of like get the most out of it. So far, okay, this is the, the shield looks pretty decent. Crit rate, crit damage, we're going to keep that. Attack gloves, not really. We're not really going to bother with them. If you're building bomb champions, you don't need to put them on Savage. You want to increase their attack. So cruel, attack, fatal, those sets. You want to keep an attack glove, you want to keep attack boots for bomb champions, you know, that don't necessarily require crit rate as well. But that, again, it, it's really niche. Bolster, same like the shield set. We want to see uh, HP. You can build champions like Mountain King to deal damage on a bolster set. And you can keep crit rate, crit damage substats in, in that case, you know. HP, we're going to keep that shield. It's not that amazing, but hey, it might be useful. Attack chest piece. 5 star rare, I'm not even going to keep it as a broken piece, you know, it's not worth it, and this is not going to work with Seer, because she cannot remove the bolster set. Defiant, again, is a pretty versatile set, you can use it on a DPS in clan boss, for example, you can use it on tons of uh, support champions, just to uh, make sure they are staying alive, you can use them on uh, champions like Septimus, on the Sand Devils Necropolis, like Armiger and other champions like this, so definitely keep pieces from pretty much everything, you know, as long as they, they look decent. You don't want to, you don't want to drop them. That's actually a pretty decent shield, double HP, crit rate defense, we're going to keep that one. And let's see what else we have in here. That's a decent one too. Crit damage gloves, we're going to keep them. HP, we're going to keep that for sure. Defense, no speed, no HP, nothing else really that uh, will justify to keep it, but is a premium set you can only get it from the forge so i'm gonna keep this on the side forge pass actually so you gotta spend money to to get it and the chest piece we're gonna keep it so you see we are selling lots of them i managed to keep quite a few rare star gear all around on the account 100 pieces out of like how many they were 700 at the beginning and that's how we gained tons of silver there is no secret way to go around and earn silver yes you can farm campaign you can farm spider that will give you a good amount of silver but everything comes from artifacts how you're wasting your silver on them if you are doing it what artifacts you're keeping you're hoarding is very very important all around and now you see we managed to sell 500 pieces almost which is definitely uh pretty pretty impressive now again we're gonna go and do five star and we're gonna go epic, we're gonna go legendary. Mythical is no point at the moment because probably he doesn't have that many, but still we're gonna do it. So what we're gonna do right now, without even checking them, because they are pretty, pretty pointless, we're gonna check life, not great. This is a good piece, actually. You definitely don't wanna sell those ones. And this is a, another good shield, we're not gonna sell it. Then def defense, 
became kind of like a weak sense uh, weak set recently Pooh, i can't speak anymore so it's not it's not that uh, great all around you know we're gonna leave the speed gear we're gonna check it in a second but again these ones we're gonna see are, are we gonna sell them we're gonna keep them does it look great that's a decent shield we're gonna keep it you see this is decent it's a decent piece this is why you don't waste silver on things like this. You're never ever gonna use a crit damage weapon with a speed, resistance and accuracy. On who? You know, like it's not gonna benefit you. You gotta make the most out of the bonus set as well, especially when you're at this level in the game. Crit rate, two bad substats, no. This, it has two good substats and a flat attack. We're gonna keep that for sure. And the rest go in the bin. Speed, accuracy, maybe a bit of damage. That's a good shield. And what do we have here? Speed boots, accuracy, crit rate, nice. Resistance, no resistance. We're gonna, we're gonna get out of here. And it's not enough to just have resistance, right? Like resistance, crit damage, attack. You wanna have tankiness on it as well, you know? So that's another thing to, to keep in mind. And what else we have here? This is a good example. Tankiness, resistance, we're gonna keep that. But the next thing that I'm going to do, guys, Fury, crit damage, we have crit rate, we're going to keep that, but days, check this out, you're going to go and do this on your accounts as well, guys. You know why? Because you're not going to use these pieces. They become very niche, Frost is such a bad set, you're going to be able to get the two-piece free set from the Doom Tower pretty early on, and it's just so much better, like 100% better. Regeneration, a different type of story, we want to make sure we're keeping the good pieces, it's this is a decent decent uh, weapon that you could potentially use on a more niche build, so we're not going to sell that one. Speed, accuracy, resistance, nice. HP, 100% keep. This can be used on a broken set, so we're going to keep that. HP, yes, we want that. And defense. Then we're going to go immunity. We're going to check it from here on because we might be able to find a couple of decent pieces, like that weapon that we've just seen before. Shield again, speed, HP, nice. Crit rate, crit damage, flat HP, damage builds like a Mountain King or a different champion like that, uh, miscreated monster, crit rate, crit damage, resistance, no, speed, HP, resistance, yes, we're gonna keep that, we're gonna keep this shield as well, hopefully it's gonna roll HP percentage at uh, 16, and defense, defense, nope, 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 HP is a thumbs up, uh, relentless, again, Depends what you have available, you know, but it's a more premium set, so you want to make sure you're, you're keeping that man destroy. You can use it to solo the Scarab King on uh, Vergis. Other than that, you're not really going to have a much much of a use for the for the set, you know. Attack, we keep, we, we're keep keeping that chest piece. Toxic, let's see. This is a bad piece, waste of silver. Again, number one hack, don't do it. That's the number one hack for silver, guys. That's a good helmet. Okay, very good shield as well. We're definitely going to keep that one. This can be used, how I mentioned, on different builds that are not meant for damage. And that's about it. Provoke. You're not going to necessarily want to deal damage with a Provoke set. You can use it on defense nukers uh, to, to provoke and be annoying. But you're not going to use an attack champion on a Provoke set. So don't keep attack pieces because... You're going to get smacked back by whoever you provoke and he's going to wreck you after. So it's going to be a waste. Retaliation. We're quickly going to brief through them. If they don't have the right substats, we're not even going to consider in keeping them. And so far, this is the only thing that I'm seeing decent from it. Same with this set. If they don't bring me the damage, at least two substats on the piece is a no-no. This is a decent helmet. What else we have in here? This is a decent one as well. We're going to keep it. Once you roll them, some of them might not be that great, you know, and I strongly suggest you go slowly on them, level 4, level 8, and if they roll you the flat substat twice, just sell them, don't, don't invest even more on them. Defense boots, small rolls on them, so we're not gonna bother with them. Curing 5 star, goodbye, we don't care about you. And from the rest, guys, we're really gonna have to dive in and pick again which pieces we're keeping, but the main principles were explained already in the video when we went through the rare gear it's gonna be the exact same thing for this you're gonna pick the right substats for damage gear the right substats for the rest the mains always pay more attention to the bottom pieces but this is pretty much how you are making silver in the game and that's for everybody out there you're farming you're selling the bad stuff and 
you're getting silver. If you're not selling the bad stuff, you're not really getting silver and you're ending up in wasting silver to level them up at some point and that's just definitely not going to be great. Now, if you guys want me to do something similar for artifacts in the future, let me know in the comments down below. We're going to be able to get that organized for you guys as well. But this is my advice so far. Hopefully, I haven't really missed many, many things uh, about the gear and what sort of things you need to sell. There are these sets that are not very useful in the game, the ones that you've seen me just instantly just dropping out. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I do hope that the video was helpful for you guys. Appreciate all of you watching. Much love and I'll catch you all soon in the next video. Peace.